our the fifth video I've just made today, so enjoy. Um, go back and find the other four if you're interested. Um, okay, so on this one, they're asking us to find all the roots, and they've given us a, a root. We'll notice all of my coefficients are rational numbers. They're actually integers. Um, and so this guy has to travel with the buddy. If I tried this um, just by itself, I'd end up with weird, weird square roots and all, all over the place. So the first thing I'm gonna do is figure out, well, what would that be? Oh, by the way, his buddy is 2 plus root 5, the conjugate. So I have 2 minus 2 minus root 5. That's not a 2. x minus 2 minus root 5 times x minus 2 um, plus root 5. That's the sign that changes, not this part, so be aware of that. Um, there is a previous video that shows um, two options for how to do this, and like I said, I always do this way because I forget the other. Um, but help yourself. Do whatever you like best. So this is a minus b times a plus b, which is a squared minus b squared. Okay, which gives me x squared minus 4x minus 5. So if they're telling me that this is one of the roots, then I know that this polynomial here, that quadratic, is going to divide in evenly into this quartic. So since it's a quadratic, I'm not going to do synthetic division. Oops. I'm going to do long division, and I have x to the fourth plus 2x cubed minus 22x squared minus 18x minus 3. I pulled that from the top, and then I'm going to divide it here by x squared minus 4x minus 1. And if I don't get a remainder of 0, something hap something went wrong. Okay, it's gonna, If they're telling me it's a root, then that means it can divide in nicely. So either I mess up here or I'm, I'm going to mess up later. So here's hoping I don't mess up. Okay, so x squared divided by x gives me x to the fourth divided by x squared gives me x squared. Multiply that back. I have 4x cubed. That's minus x squared. Change my signs. That's gone. This becomes 6x cubed. That becomes minus 21x squared. And then I can bring down that next term because I'm likely to need it. Then I have 6x cubed divided by x squared giving me a positive um, that's okay. Positive 6x. Multiply that back. Minus 24x squared. Um, minus 6x. Change my signs. This becomes a 3x squared and then a minus 12x. Bring down that negative 3. Okay. Um, 3x squared divided by x squared gives me a positive 3. Let's see what happens when I multiply that back. It better give me this. If it doesn't, I'm in trouble. Um, 3x squared minus 12x minus 3. That's fantastic. Change the signs and we're back to 0. Okay, so, so far what we have is we've got this polynomial. Oh, I can't see what I'm sorry. Okay, that original, our g of x, g of x, is equal to, well, the first polynomial that we found was this x squared minus um, 4x minus 1. And now we also found this other one from here, x squared plus 6x plus 3. Okay, and so that's how I, that's what this would factor, to, this, this quartic factors down to two quadratics. Um, we know that this one, this one gave us, we had roots of, um, what was it, 2 plus or minus root 5 from that one. And now we need to see what our roots are from here because the, the question said to find all roots. So on this one, I have x squared plus 6x um, plus 3 equals 0. Well, I'm going to move that over to the other side. I'm going to say plus a box equals negative 3 plus a box. Oh, I'm so sorry. Okay. Um, so... This, I, anytime this is even, I like to complete the square. I just think it's easier. Um, so that's x plus 3 squared, 3 squared, 9 goes in my box. That is a negative 3 plus 9 is equal to 6. Now I do the cheer, square root, square root, plus minus. I have x plus 3 is equal to plus or minus root 6. Therefore, x is equal to negative 3 plus or minus root 6. So when they say find all roots, I'm going to tell them, okie dokie, And that quartic had, as we expected, four roots.